All right, so this is our advanced shop. So a different layout. For this shop, we decided instead of doing the individual stations, uh, we have a power rail that runs on either side, well, actually all around the room here, so various power rails. Uh, and instead of having the, the students, like you saw in the intermediate shop, standing at each of the, the stations, they will have a station that they will pull out here. Hard to do the cam work and hold it in my hand, but let's bring her over here. And so what you'll do is you'll have each different uh, wiring circuit on various different boards. So you can see here that this is, this is very similar to the intermediate shop, but it gets a lot more complicated in the scenario that the instructor is asking for. Again, you can see here we have the same uh, IEC contactors and the forward reverse contactor that we'll be using. Uh, and then just some indicator lights here. And here we've got various stop, start, jog connections here. So the students grab their power from this power rail. Everything is controlled from the individual breaker for their station. And then there's the appropriate uh, e-stop for each of the, uh, the rails here. So you can see that each of these, um, these power rails is controlled by a disconnect. And then it's got a standard stop start station on each of the, the stations here. Okay. In addition to those boards there, so there's various boards like um, this one is for, um, I believe, I believe this is for the compressor circuit. We also have one called the pump alternator uh, circuit as well. So you'll see that various uh, stations have uh, different components on there. So this one here is for the pump alternator, something similar to uh, like a sump pump where you have two sump pumps that are being con uh, controlled and we have a, a low and a high limit here and we've got all of the different contactors and relays in order to create that circuit there. So the instructor will go through how to create the, the circuit and then it's up to the student to wire it up according to those uh, specific specs. In addition to uh, the control wiring, the next thing that uh, most students are working on are the transformers. So here we have a number of different three-phase transformer stations here. So you can just make out there's one, two, three transformers that are now connected up to uh, the various quick connect connectors here for each of the primary and secondary windings. So here the, the main, um, main thing for advanced is getting your head around uh, three-phase controls, so delta and Y connections. So you'll go over every different type of um, transformer connection that you see out in the field. Again, each of these guys is controlled by a breaker for that station. And again, we have the E stop for the entire power rail there. Okay, in addition to all of the transformer projects, uh, you'll also be working on these lab volt stations right here. And these lab volt stations allow us to, to have the students wire up uh, RLC circuits, so resistors, inductors, and capacitors. You can see that on each of these different stations, they have the uh, resistors, the inductors are somewhere else, but here you can see a, a bank of capacitors there, and we have all the metering there, and it all is fed from this power supply on the bottom. In addition to that, we also have uh, three different motors that the advanced students will be wiring up, a synchronous motor, the DC motor that we saw in the intermediate shop, and the wound rotor machine as well. They'll also be looking at power factor correction, so they'll be making use of these meters in order to uh, look at how a synchronous motor can be used for power factor correction. So this kind of gives the students an ability to wire up the circuits that they're seeing in theory. So it takes the, the theoretical portion and then allows them to, do, to see it firsthand how each of the different components will control either voltages or currents in the circuit. In addition to uh, those stations, you'll see that uh, around the, the room we have different braking systems. So this one here is a solenoid mechanical brake. We have another one on the other side, which is a plugging uh, circuit. So we have a centrifugal switch here that then allows the motor to be run in reverse 
and stop the motor on a dime versus the mechanical uh, brake that we see on the other side there. And each of those boards that I just showed you that we pull out, they are then controlling each of the, the motors. In the intermediate shop, we had the dual voltage single phase motor. And when they come back for advanced, they're working on a dual voltage three phase motor. So here we can see here that we've got a larger motor here. This one works off of three phase power, but again, it can work off of two different voltages. So you can see that the connections for the, the motor are brought out to these connections here, and it's up to the student to figure out all the various windings of the motor and how to connect up this motor appropriately for the two different supply voltages that could, that could feed it. In addition to uh, each of those stations that I've just shown you, around week five of, uh, so halfway through the advanced program, uh, but we'll be moving over to these stations right here. So the instructors may be using these, these stations for uh, relay and motor controls. So here again, we have the same contactors that we saw on the other boards, some timers up at the top here, and again, some selector switches, push buttons, and indicator lights. On the side here, you'll see this is called a PLC. So this is a programmable logic controller. And so for the, the remaining four to five weeks in advance, they're learning how to program that controller in order to control uh, the relays that are tied into the PLC. So on the top, you have inputs. On the bottom, you have outputs. And then you are using the computer to create uh, the logic to control your contactors up here, which will ultimately control the three-phase motor that's mounted above. So in here, this kind of encompasses everything for, uh, for the, ad the advanced class, and that you have contactors, you have the PLC, you have the motor wiring, and then you have your PLC program that you'll be working on in the, uh, on the computer there. I believe that covers everything for, uh, for the advanced shop. So I hope you find that uh, George Brown has uh, really good labs here. There is a room for everyone to, uh, to learn. Uh, this is one more station that I neglected to, to show you. In addition to the, the three-phase transformers that we see across the room, these are what's called auto transformers. So these have the, this, the windings, and instead of having separate windings for the primary and the secondary, they're all on the same winding. So we'll go over uh, various transformers that you'll find out in the field to provide the three-phase output there. But again, I hope you find that uh, our labs are large, that we've got really good uh, equipment, and that there's lots of room for everybody to, uh, to learn. And your instructors here uh, will be providing the instruction beforehand, and then as you're doing each of the projects, they're providing you with lots of guidance uh, <clears throat> and lots of challenges as well. So as you're, as you're learning the, the fundamentals on each uh, level, then your instructors are pushing you more and more by the end of the course to really challenge your knowledge on each of the different uh, components. So we've seen three shops so far. Let me take you uh, down the hall and I will show you the instrumentation classroom, that's my classroom, uh, and then I will show you the electronics classroom beside.